Today I'm going to show you how to do some advanced editing of textures in SketchUp. Uh, so in SketchUp, by default, uh, we can do a fair amount of things to textures. We can resize them, like this. We can also change the color. And really, that's about it. Um, if you wanted to do something more advanced, say with this tile texture, um, if I wanted to remove all the black tiles, that's not something that we can do in SketchUp. We can, however, do it in an external photo editor. To do that, we first need to tell SketchUp what photo editor we'd like to use. So if you haven't already done this, you simply go to SketchUp and then to Preferences, or if you're on a PC, go to Window and go to Preferences. When the Settings menu comes up, click on Applications, and then click on Choose. And a window will pop up and you navigate through your computer and tell it where your photo editing program is. In this case, I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop, so I'm just going to tell SketchUp that Photoshop is here and I'd like to use it. I click Open and now Photoshop is set as my default texture editor. Now, I can pull up the Materials window, which you can get by hitting the paint bucket over here on the toolbar, and I can hit the Home button and the home button will show me all of the materials that are currently in my model. I can take the paint bucket tool and hit command or on a PC hit alt and it will bring up an eyedropper and I can select this tile and you see it gets the little blue window around it to show that it's selected. I can double click it on a Mac to bring up this edit window down here and on a PC you select the material and click the edit tab that's near the top here. So once I'm in there uh, you'll see I can change the size here, but what we're really after is this button here. It's a box with an orange arrow flying out of it. And when you hover over it, it says Edit Texture Material in External Editor. So if I click that, Photoshop fires up, and it will bring up the texture that I want to edit. So now what I can do is go ahead and edit out the black tiles in this texture. So now that all my edits are done, all I have to do is click Save and go back over to SketchUp and you'll see that the texture updates automatically. So very, very cool way to edit textures. You can use any external photo editing program that you want as long as it's compatible with the type of images you're trying to edit. So generally textures are made with PNGs or JPEGs and that covers just about any photo editing program that's out there whether you're using Photoshop, uh, Sketchbook Express, or even Microsoft Paint that comes with Windows. Uh, it's a very easy way to edit textures, and you can do all kinds of things with this. You can edit colors, you can crop out imperfections, uh, you can make repeating textures. Very, very handy way to, to edit textures, and what's great is that as soon as you save, you see the changes automatically in SketchUp.